عزیز طلبہ و ناظرین لیکچر نمبر تھرڈی فرسٹ لے کر ڈاکٹر محمد تجمل ایک مرتبہ پھر حاضر ہیں آج کے لیکچر میں جیسا کہ ہم نے پچھلے لیکچر میں پڑھا تھا اس کی کانٹینیویشن کے طور پر ہم آئیڈیل ڈائیوڈ کا کیس لیتے ہوئے کچھ مزید سرکٹس کا انیلیسز دیکھیں گے تاکہ ڈائیوڈ سے متعلق سرکٹس کو سالو کرنے میں آپ کو تھوڑی سی مہارت حاصل ہو جائے آئیڈل ڈائیوڈ کے متعلق کچھ ایکزامپلز کو سالو کرنے کے بعد ہم ایکچول ڈائیوڈ یعنی کہ ٹرمینل کریکٹسٹکس آف دا ڈائیوڈ پر کنسنٹریٹ کریں گے اور دیکھیں گے کہ ان ایکچول فیکٹ ہماری جو کریکٹسٹکس آف دا ڈائیوڈ ہوتی ہے وہ کس طرح سے بنتی ہے اور اس میں مختلف ریجنز ایک مرتبہ پھر دیکھیں گے کہ کس طرح سے ڈیفائن کیے جاتے ہیں اور ان ریجنز میں سے ہم کون کون سی انفرمیشن کو ریٹریو کر سکتے ہیں سب سے پہلی مثال جو ہم نے آج لی ہے اس میں ایک پریکٹیکل بیٹری چارجنگ سرکٹ کو کنسیڈر کیا گیا ہے جس میں ایک سائنوسائیڈل سورس کو ایز اے انپوٹ انسرٹ کرتے ہوئے ڈائیوڈ کو ایز ریکٹیفائر استعمال کیا گیا ہے جبکہ آؤٹ پوٹ میں ایک ٹویل وولٹ بیٹری کو جس کو ہم چارج کرنا چاہ رہے ہیں لگایا گیا ہے اس سرکٹ میں ہم مختلف پیرامیٹرز انیلیسز کے ذریعہ سے حاصل کرنے کی کوشش کریں گے اور دیکھیں گے کہ مختلف پیرامیٹرز ایڈ دا ٹویل وولٹ بیٹری اور وی ڈی وغیرہ کس طرح سے کیلکولیٹ کیے جا سکتے ہیں آئیے اس سرکٹ کو ایک نظر سلائٹ پر دیکھتے ہیں The figure shows a circuit for charging a 12 volts battery. If Vs, which is the source voltage, is a sinusoid with a 24 volts peak amplitude, find the fraction of each cycle during which the diode conducts. Also find the peak value of the diode current and the maximum reverse bias voltage that appears across the diode. Now in this circuit, we want to calculate that what are the conditions or the currents which will be supplied to the battery. In the graphic representation, the large waveform is the Vs having a 24 volts peak swinging between the positive and the negative halves of the graph. Whereas the battery is having a 12 volts peak. Therefore, in the graph, it is marked by a 12 volt level as well. Within the peaks, it is mentioned that how the current will be behaving. Now from this circuit we can see that as 12 volt battery has been connected onto the other side of the circuit across the diode whereas the Vs is onto the left hand side. Now in order that we want to decide about the conduction or the open circuit by the diode we must inspect the circuit carefully and try to work out what are the terminals and what are their status. For example, in the question it has been mentioned that the source voltage swings maximum at 24 volts. However, on the other hand, the positive terminal of the battery has been connected to the cathode terminal of the diode and the peak voltage of the battery is 12 volts. Now during the positive half cycle we can see that the source voltage will swing up to plus 24 volts. That will mean that the anode terminal of the diode will be more positive because it will be at 24 volts potential 
whereas the anode terminal will be at the plus 12. And because the anode terminal is more positive as compared to the cathode terminal of the diode, therefore the diode will go into forward bias condition. And because we are considering the case of ideal diode, therefore we can replace the diode by a short circuit. Hence, we decide that during the positive half cycle of the input voltage, the diode will be conducting. However, during the negative half cycle, the source voltage will swing up to minus 24 volts. Therefore, the anode terminal of the diode will be set at minus 24 volts, whereas the cathode terminal of the diode is at plus 12 volts. What does that mean? That will mean that the anode terminal of the diode is more negative as compared to the cathode. And if we try to measure the potential difference between the two terminals of the battery, then obviously we can measure during the negative half cycle a potential difference of 36. Therefore, the diode will go in the reverse bias condition. That will mean that it will be acting as an open circuit and no current will be flowing during the negative half cycle of the input source voltage. Now, ab jab ke humne sabse pehle is circuit ko theoretically dekh liya hai ke iska operation kis tarah se hoga, to ab hum isko mazid required calculations karne ke liye consider karte hain. اس میں ہم دیکھیں گے کہ مختلف پیرامیٹرز جو کہ ہمیں question میں desire کیے گئے ہیں ان کو کس طرح سے calculate کیا جائے گا آئیے اس عمل کو slide پر دیکھتے ہیں the diode conducts when source voltage exceeds 12 volts as shown in the previous figure the conduction angle is 2 theta where theta is given by now because the source voltage peak is 24, therefore we can write in case of sinusoid 24 cos theta is equal to 12, that is the voltage of the battery. Solving this equation, we can find out theta and that will be equal to cos inverse 1 over 2, therefore theta is equal to 60 degrees. And because the conduction angle is 2 theta. This 2 theta is taken due to the reason because right when the input voltage is equal to 12 volts, at that point the diode will be acting as no bias condition. However, when the input source voltage will increase increase up to some extent, only then the diode will go into the forward bias. Therefore, excluding that room as shown in the first slide, we can judge that only 2 theta is remaining there. Therefore, our angle of conduction that is when the diode will go into forward bias is 120 or one third of the cycle. The peak value of the diode current is given by. We can write ID is equal to 24 minus 12 divided by 100. This has been obtained by applying the KVL to the loop. Therefore, Simplifying this equation, we can write ID is equal to 0 0.12 amperes. The maximum reverse voltage across the diode occurs when Vs is at its negative peak. If we diode across 
मैक्सिमम रिवर्स वोल्टेज को कैलकुलेट करना चाहें तो उसके लिए कंडीशन ये होगी कि जितना भी किसी सर्किट में इंसर्ट की हुई डायोड को ज्यादा से ज्यादा रिवर्स बाइस करेंगे तो उसी पर हमें मैक्सिमम रिवर्स वोल्टेज कैलकुलेट करना चाहिए क्योंकि अंडर दैट कंडीशन रिवर्स बायस में डायोड के अंदर की हालत इस तरह से होगी कि उसमें मैक्सिमम वेथ ऑफ द डिप्लीशन लेयर अवेलेबल होगी लिहाजा क्योंकि इस एग्जांपल में हमारी नेगेटिव वैल्यू 24 फोर वोल्ट है इसलिए हम कंसिडर करते हैं कि एट माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर वोल्ट हमारी डायोड में से मैक्सिमम रिवर्स वोल्टेज मेयर किया जा सकता है लिहाजा इसके लिए जो इक्वेशन लिखी जाएगी उसको हम स्लाइड पर देखते हैं देर फोर द मैक्सिमम रिवर्स वोल्टेज अक्रॉस द डायोड अकर्स वेन सोर्स वोल्टेज इज एट इट्स नेगेटिव पीक एंड इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस ट्वेल्व इक्वल थर्टी सिक्स इसके बाद जो मिसालें हम देखने जा रहे हैं वो देखने को तो डायोड की स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड एग्जांपल्स हैं लेकिन कॉम्प्लिकेटेड मिसालों को कंसिडर करने से पहले जरूरी है कि आपकी मशक के लिए हम इन स्लाइड्स को भी देखें और देखें कि इन एग्जांपल्स को किस तरह से सॉल्व किया जाएगा आइए इस स्लाइड पर देखते हैं जहां पे चार मुख्तलिफ सर्किट्स को दिखाया गया है जिनमें आइडियल डायोड का इस्तेमाल किया गया है और उसमें मुख्तलिफ वैल्यूज ऑफ द कंपोनेंट्स इंसर्ट की गई हैं और हमें मुख्तलिफ पैरामीटर्स को कैलकुलेट करना है आइए इन सर्किट्स को स्लाइड्स पर देखते हैं फिगर ए शोज अ पॉजिटिव फाइव वोल्ट बैटरी कनेक्टेड टू द एनोड ऑफ द डायोड थ्रू आर रजिस्टर हैविंग अ वैल्यू ऑफ टू पॉइंट फाइव किलो ओम्स द कैथोड टर्मिनल ऑफ द डायोड इज कनेक्टेड टू द न्यूट्रल टर्मिनल ऑफ द बैटरी वेयर एज वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट द वोल्टेज बिटवीन द न्यूट्रल टर्मिनल एंड द टर्मिनल बिटवीन द रजिस्टर एंड द डायोड For this circuit, which is circuit A, we also need to calculate the current. First of all, as our usual procedure, we examine it physically and see what will be the condition which will be applied upon the diode. Clearly, we can see that the positive terminal of the battery is being supplied to the anode. terminal of the diode whereas the cathode of the diode is connected to the neutral point hence we can clearly see that the diode will be in the forward bias condition in order that we want to calculate the current through this circuit because all this circuit is a connected in series to each other therefore same current will be flowing through the whole circuit hence we can write applying ohm's law i is equal to 5 divided by 2.5 k that will be equal to 2 milliamperes now this will be the amount of current which will be passing through this circuit however the matter of output voltage is left here and because the diode has acted as a short circuit therefore the negative voltage or the neutral terminal of the battery will appear at the term positive terminal of the output voltage as well hence between the neutral terminal and the terminal for output voltage we measure zero volts therefore v is equal to zero volts in circuit b we can see that the circuit is almost same however the diode or the direction of the diode has been reversed as compared 
to the case A. The positive terminal of the battery has been connected through a 2.5 kilo ohm resistance to the cathode of the diode, whereas the anode terminal of the diode has been connected to the neutral terminal. Now, once again, as our usual practice, inspecting it physically, we can see that the diode will be reverse bias because the cathode of the diode is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. Once the diode is reverse biased, that will mean that in case of ideal diode, it will start acting as an open circuit. No current can flow through the circuit. Hence, we can write I is equal to 0 amperes. However, the V will have some value and because no current is flowing, therefore, the whole voltage that is 5 volts will appear at the positive terminal of the output. Hence, we can measure between the positive terminal of the output and the neutral a potential difference of 5 volts. Therefore, V is equal to 5 volts. Aziz Talwa, ab jabke humne do examples jin mein straight line circuit ka istamal kiya gaya tha, wo le li hai. तो इससे अगली दो एग्जांपल्स भी बिल्कुल इसी तरह सी हैं लेकिन इसमें फर्क सिर्फ इस तरह है कि इनको अपसाइड डाउन और फिर थोड़ा सा डायोड की डायरेक्शंस को रिवर्स कर दिया गया है आइए इन दो सर्किट्स को भी स्लाइड पर एनालाइज करते हैं इन फिगर सी वी कैन सी दैट द पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल ऑफ द डायोड इज कनेक्टेड टू द माइनस 5 वोल्ट बैटरी Whereas, the cathode terminal of the diode has been connected to the neutral terminal of the battery. There exists a 2.5 kilo ohm resistance between the diode positive terminal and the negative, volt, negative terminal of the battery. Once again, inspecting physically, we can see that the positive terminal or the anode of the diode has been connected to the negative terminal of the battery. Therefore, we can clearly see that the diode will start acting as reverse biased. Now, because it is an open circuit due to the usage of ideal diode, therefore, at the terminal where we want to measure the voltage, we can see the total transfer of the minus 5 volts. Hence, our V will be equal to minus 5 volts. Also, in case of current, we can see that because it is an open circuit due to the reverse bias of the diode, therefore, no current can flow through this circuit. Hence, we can write I is equal to 0 milliamperes. In the last circuit of this series, we see the circuit shown in figure D. We can also see that the cathode terminal of the diode has been connected to minus 5 volt battery through a resistor of 2.45 kilo ohm value. The anode terminal of the diode has been connected to the neutral of the battery. And we want to measure the volt between the branch which is linking the resistor and the negative terminal of the diode. Inspecting it physically, we can see that the minus 5 volt battery has been connected to the cathode terminal of the diode. Whereas, the N node is connected to the neutral which is relatively more positive as compared to minus 5 volts. Therefore, the diode will be under forward bias condition. Now, as the diode has become short circuited, therefore, there is 
a direct link between the far terminal of the resistance and the neutral terminal of the battery. Hence, a flow of current will be established and we can calculate very easily the flow of current. That will be 5 divided by 2.5 that will be equal to 2 milliamperes. However, we can clearly see that the neutral terminal is short circuited with the help of the diode in conduction with the terminal where we want to make the volt. Therefore, V will be equal to 0 volts. Now, when we have analyzed the circuits, we have analyzed the circuits. So, this is the first circuit that we have an example. We have more than one diode in the world. We have more than one In the circuits, we have a inspection and we have a calculation. We have to see what the situation developed. क्योंकि ऐसे सर्किट में नंबर ऑफ ब्रांचेस थोड़ी सी ज्यादा होती हैं तो इसमें केसीएल या फिर केवीएल का इतलाक लाजमी हो जाता है और हम देखते हैं कि हम जो वैल्यूज कैलकुलेट कर रहे हैं आया वो केसीएल को फॉलो करती हैं या नहीं अगर तो वो फॉलो कर लें तो फिर तो ठीक है अगर ना करें तो हमें फिर सर्किट को रीडू यानी कि उसके एनालिसिस को reconsider karna padta hai aur accordingly hum usme adjustments karte hain aur uski further calculations karte hue final result tak pahunch pate hain aaiye ek aise circuit ko slide par dekhte hain assuming the diodes to be ideal find the values of i and v not in the circuit now we have been asked to assume the diodes as ideal and to calculate the value of I and V naught. Looking into circuit A or figure A, we can see that the positive terminal of the diode D1 has been connected to the neutral, whereas the negative terminal of the diode D1 has been connected to the minus 10 volt battery. Therefore, we can assume that this diode will be conducting. However, for the diode D2, we can also see that the anode terminal of the battery is connected to the positive 10 volts battery and the cathode terminal of the diode is connected once again to the minus 10 volts. Hence, we can also assume that this diode is also conducting. Now, let us carry out the analysis. For this circuit, therefore, we assume that both diodes are conducting. It follows that Vb will be equal to 0. Because looking on to the circuit, we have assumed that the diode D1 is conducting and this is the case of ideal diode. Hence, when D1 is conducting, that will mean that at point B, the neutral point will appear. Therefore, we can safely write that the voltage at the point B will be equal to 0. Also, we have assumed that the diode D2 is conducting. Hence, the same voltage as the point B will appear at the V0 terminal. Hence, we can write V0 is equal to 0 as well. The current through D2 can now be determined. Now, when we want to calculate the current through D2, we can designate it as ID2, that is the current through the diode D2. Therefore, we can write ID2 is equal to 10 minus 0 divided by 10, that will be equal to 
1 milliamperes. Now, writing node equation at B, we can proceed as I plus 1 equals 0 minus into minus 10 divided by 5. Therefore, we end up with I is equal to 1 milliampere. This results in I is equal to 1 milliampere. Therefore, D 1 is conducting as originally assumed and the final result is I is equal to 1 milliampere and V is equal to 0 volts. Ab jab ke humne circuit A ke liye analysis kiya aur ye coincidence hua ke humne jaisa assume kiya tha waisa hi humara result nikal aaya yani ke start mein humne ye assume kiya tha ke both the diodes are conducting aur jab humne calculation ki to dekha ke waqai dono diodes conduct kar rahi thi aur unme jab humne current ki ratio ko dekha to wo bhi kuch theek tha lihaza we can consider that our results are right. Figure B mein jo circuit dikhaya gaya hai, ab uske case ko lete hai, aur usme bhi isi approach ko adopt karte hai. Lekin usme phir aap dekhenge, ke kuch thodi si ambiguity aayegi, lihaza hum phir usme correction karte huye, apne final result tak pohunch paayenge. Aayye figure B ko dekhte hai. Now, the figure B shows for the circuit in figure B if we assume that both diodes are conducting. Now looking on to figure B we can also see that for diode D1 because the cathode terminal of D1 is connected to minus 10 volts and the anode terminal is connected to the neutral of the battery therefore we can consider that diode d1 is also conducting similarly for the diode d2 we can see that the anode terminal of the battery has been connected to the plus 10 volts and the negative terminal of the diode is connected to the point b and because the diode D1 has been considered as conducting, therefore, 0 will appear at the point B. Hence, we can safely consider that both the diodes are conducting. As we assume that both the diodes are conducting, then we can write VB is equal to 0 and also we can write V0 is equal to 0. Hence, we proceed to calculate the current through the diode D2. Therefore, we can write I D2 is equal to 10 minus 0 divided by 5 equals 2 milliamperes. The node equation at B can be written as I plus 2 milli equals 0 minus into minus 10 divided by 10 k. This will give us I is equal to minus 1 milliampere. Now, as we go back onto the circuit, because we have calculated I is equal to minus 1 milliampere. So, from our, from our experience, we can see that the direction of the current I is going to be reversed. And because we know that the conventional current always flows from the positive side to the negative side, whereas if we reverse this current arrow, that will mean that the conventional current will flow from the negative side to the positive side. Hence, we conclude that our assumption that both the diodes are conducting is not correct. Therefore, we must go back and restart solving the problem. To restart the 
circuit analysis we assume that D 1 is off and D 2 is on. Therefore, we can calculate the current I D 2 as in this equation writing I D 2 is equal to 10 minus into minus 10 divided by 15 that will be equal to 1.33 milliamperes. Also, we can calculate the voltage at the node B. Therefore, we can write V B is equal to minus 10 plus 10 into 1.33 that will be equal to 3.3 volts. Thus, diode D 1 is reverse biased as assumed and the final result is that I is equal to 0 and V naught is equal to 3.3 volts because the diode D 2 is conducting and the same voltage as at the point B will appear at the terminal V naught. अब जब के हमने डायोड से मुतलक आइडियल डायोड मॉडल को यूज करते हुए निहायत ही सादा सर्किट्स को और फिर थोड़े से कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सर्किट्स को एनालिसिस करना सीख लिया है तो इसके बाद हम जो टॉपिक लेने जा रहे हैं वो कहलाता है टर्मिनल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द डायोड जब हम टर्मिनल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द डायोड कहते हैं तो इसका मतलब ये होता है कि एक एक्चुअल डायोड को लेकर उसके टर्मिनल्स पे जिस तरह का बिहेवियर आता है उसको ड्रॉ किया जाए और देखा जाए कि इस बिहेवियर से हम किस तरह के नतज अखज कर सकते हैं मिसाल के तौर पर अगर हम टर्मिनल करेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ द डायोड को कंसिडर करें तो ये आइडियल डायोड में जैसा कि हमने करेक्टरिस्टिक को ड्रॉ किया था वो बिल्कुल स्ट्रेट लाइन थी लेकिन इसमें थोड़ा सा एक्सपोनेंशियल बिहेवियर नजर आएगा क्योंकि ये एक प्रैक्टिकल डायोड को इस्तेमाल करते हुए ड्रॉ किया जाएगा इसमें भी बिल्कुल उसी तरीके से जिस तरह से हमारे पास आइडियल डायोड के केस में दो पोर्शंस थे एक फॉरवर्ड बायस पोर्शन और एक रिवर्स बायस पोर्शन इसमें भी बिल्कुल उसी तरीके से दो पोर्शन होंगे हाउ एवर रिवर्स बायस पोर्शन को फर्दर थोड़ा सा आ, दो सब पोर्शन में डिवाइड किया जा सकता है जिसको हम नी ऑफ द करेक्टरिस्टिक के नाम से भी याद करते हैं या उससे निचला पोर्शन जो होता है उसको हम रिवर्स ब्रेक डाउन पोर्शन भी कहते हैं रिवर्स ब्रेक डाउन पोर्शन में ऐसा है कि जब हम किसी भी डायोड को हार्ड तरीके से रिवर्स करते जाएं, यानी कि उसके टर्मिनल्स के अक्रॉस रिवर्स बायस कंडीशंस को ज्यादा से ज्यादा अप्लाई करते जाएं तो उसमें एट द एंड एक ब्रेकडाउन एग्जिस्ट कर जाता है जिसके नतीजे में एक सडन अमाउंट ऑफ करंट फ्लो करती है और उसको हम ब्रेकडाउन ऑफ द डायोड के नाम से याद करते हैं आइए टर्मिनल करेक्टरिस्टिक्स को मजीद डिस्कस करने के लिए स्लाइड पर देखते हैं from this slide we can see that there are mainly two portions of the graph the right hand portion which is right hand upper portion of the diode that is marked as forward bias starting from the origin of the graph we can see that as we keep increasing the voltage V at the positive terminal of the diode or we keep increasing the forward bias condition to the diode, we do not observe any flow of current through the diode. We do not see any flow of current through the diode until we reach at the point 0 0.5 volts. This is due to the reason that the depletion layer of the diode is wide enough so that the applied voltage is below the value of the 
barrier voltage hence no current can conduct or pass through the diode as we pass the 0 0.5 volts we can see that there exists an exponential rise into the flow of the current through the diode this is due to the exponential distribution of the holes of and the electrons inside the diode material as we keep increasing the voltage the current through the diode also keep rising until we reach at the point where the applied voltage is having a difference of 0 0.7 volts at that point the current flowing through the diode becomes maximum or we can say that the diode has reached the saturation point and from this characteristic or the forward portion of the characteristic we can also conclude that because the diode has become saturated at 0 0.7 volts level that is the maximum current is flowing at this level therefore the material used for the manufacturing of the diode is silicon if it was germanium then the exponential rise would have started bit earlier and it would have saturated at 0 0.3 volts now we move to the other side of the graph which is the left hand side this side is depicting two portions of the reverse bias characteristic one portion is marked as reverse and the other one has been marked as breakdown as we keep applying the negative volt across the junction of the diode then we can see that there is slight drop into the current or very small amount of current is passing through the diode remember that the voltage scale is compressed whereas the current scale has been expanded in the negative side of this graph therefore we can see that a very very small amount of current will be flowing through the diode under reverse bias conditions however at minus v z k or we can call it as minus minus it is into the minus region v is the voltage z is due to the zener effect and k is due to the knee of the characteristic curve as we pass this point we enter into the breakdown region and if we keep increasing the negative voltage at the diode terminals then a sudden increase in the negative side of the current will be observed and this is called as the breakdown region or the breakdown current of the diode ab jab ke humne terminal characteristics of the diode ko discuss kar liya hai to aaiye in points ko thoda sa formally slide par dekhte hain as indicated the characteristic curve consists of three distinct regions number one the forward bias region determined by v greater than zero number two the reverse bias region determined by v less than zero number three the breakdown region determined by v less than minus v z k these three regions of the operations are described in the following the forward bias or simply forward region is entered when the terminal voltage v is positive in the forward region the iv or the current voltage relationship is closely approximated as i is equal to i sub s into e raised to the power v 
divided by n v sub t minus 1. In this equation, I s is a constant for a given diode at a given temperature and it is directly proportional to the area of the diode. The voltage V sub t is a constant and is given as V sub t is equal to k t divided by q, where k is equal to Boltzmann's constant and having a value of 1.38 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 3 joules per Kelvin. T is equal to absolute temperature measured in Kelvins. Q is equal to magnitude of the electronic charge given by 1.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 coulombs. At room temperature, which is normally considered as 20 degree C, the value of V T is 25.5 2 milli volts. Aam taur par V T ki value ko 20 degree C ke upar data sheet mein muhaiya kiya jata hai aur is ki value 25.2 milli volts ke barabar hoti hai. Lekin aam taur par hum jab is equation ke zriya se kisi problem ko solve karne ja rahe hoti hai to as a thumb rule is value ko hum round figure ke taur par 25 milli volt consider kar lete hain. Is ke baad mazid points ko dekhiye. In the diode equation, the constant n has a value between 1 and 2 depending on the material and physical structure of the diode. n ki value ye bhi manufacturer supply karte hain aur is ki value 1 or 2 k dharmiyan mein hoti hai depending upon k is mein kaun sa material yani ke silicon ya phir germanium istemal kiya gaya ho. Is ke baad mazid parameters ko slide par dekhte hain. For appreciable current I in the forward direction I is very very greater than I s. Therefore, the diode equation can be modified as I is equal to I s e raised to the power V divided by n V t. Now, in this equation you can see that we have omitted a factor of minus 1, because we have considered that I is very much greater than I s. In the equation which we introduced earlier on there existed a minus 1 factor whereas in this equation due to the assumption that I is very much greater than I s we have excluded that factor. This expression can be given alternatively in logarithmic form as V is equal to n V t log into I divided by I s. Let us consider the forward I V relationship and evaluate the current I 1 corresponding to the diode voltage V 1. Therefore, we can write the equation as I 1 is equal to I s e raised to the power V 1 divided by n V sub t. Similarly, if the voltage V 2, the diode current is I 2, then we can write I 2 is equal to I s into E raised to the power V 2 divided by N V sub t. Ab jab ke humne dono do diodes ko, sorry, Ab jab ke humne do diodes ko consider karte huye unki exponential equations ko likh liya hai. To hum kisi ek circuit mein jab dono diodes ke fark ko calculate karne jayenge to in dono equations ke istmal se aisa calculate kar sakte hain. Aayye dono ka difference nikalne ke liye ek martaba phir slide par chalte hain. 
these two equations can be combined to produce I 2 divided by I 1 equals E raised to the power V 2 minus V 1 divided by N V T which can be written as V 2 minus V 1 equals N V sub T log I 2 divided by e I 1. Is calculated equation ko hum aise problems mein bhi istemal kar sakte hain jahan hamare paas kisi diode par applied kiye gaye voltage ya phir usme se pass hone wale current mein changes aa rahi hon. Agli misal mein hum kuch aisa hi case consider karne ja rahe hain jisme diode par di gayi values ko change kiya gaya hai. Aaye is question ko slide par dekhte hain. A silicon diode set to be 1 milliampere device displays a forward voltage of 0.7 volts at a current of 1 milliampere. Evaluate the junction scaling constant that is Is in the event that N is either 1 or 2. What scaling constant would apply? for a 1 ampere diode of the same manufacturer that conducts 1 ampere at 0.7 volts. Now, we know that I is equal to I s e raised to the power V n V sub t or we can write I s is equal to I e raised to the power minus V divided by n v t. For 1 milliampere diode, if n is equal to 1, we can calculate I s is equal to 10 raised to the power minus 3 into E raised to the power minus 700 divided by 25. That will be equal to 6.9 into 10 raised to the power 16 amperes. For the second case, if n is equal to 2, we can write I s is equal to 10 raised to the power minus 3 into E raised to the power minus 700 divided by 50. That will be equal to 8.3 into 10 raised to the power minus 10 amperes. The diode conducting 1 ampere at 0 0.7 volts corresponds to 1000 milliamperes in parallel with the total junction area 1000 times greater thus i s is also 1000 times greater ab jab ke humne calculate kiya ke diode ka conducting current pehle case ki nisbat 1000 times zyada tha lihaza इसी रेशियो से हमारी आईएस की वैल्यू भी चेंज होगी और हमने डिक्लेअर किया कि आईएस की वैल्यू फॉर द सेकंड डायोड भी 1000 टाइम्स ग्रेटर है अजीज तलबा आज हमने देखा कि किस तरह से एक्सपोनेंशियल मॉडल को यूज करते हुए مختلف डायोड्स के पैरामीटर्स को कैलकुलेट किया जा सकता है गो के हम टाइम की कमी की वजह से इस चीज को टच ना कर सके कि किस तरह से जब किसी डायोड पर उसकी वैल्यूज चेंज हो रही हों यानी वोल्टेज या फिर करंट वैल्यूज चेंज हो रही हों तो उनको किस तरह से सॉर्ट आउट किया जाता है इस बारे में हम अगले लेक्चर में कुछ मिसालें देखेंगे और कुछ मिसालें ऐसी भी देखेंगे जिनमें इससे ज्यादा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सर्किट्स को कंसीडर किया जाएगा इससे पहले हमने देखा कि किस तरह से हम सादा तरीन सर्किट्स को आइडियल मॉडल इस्तेमाल करते हुए सॉर्ट आउट कर सकते हैं टर्मिनल मॉडल्स में नॉर्मली आपने देखा कि टर्मिनल करैक्टरिस्टिक मॉडल जो हमने प्रेजेंट किया इसमें एक्सपोनेंशियल इक्वेशन का इस्तेमाल किया जाता है जबकि कुछ पैरामीटर्स को मैन्युफैक्चरर की तरफ से मुहैया किया जाता है आइंदा आने वाले लेक्चर्स में हम डायोड के मजीद मॉडल्स यानी के फिक्स टॉप मॉडल और रेजिस्टिव मॉडल का मुताला करेंगे और देखेंगे कि किसी सर्किट में ऐसी डायोड का मॉडल कंसीडर करते हुए उसको किस तरह से एनालाइज किया जा सकता है 
آج کے لیکچر کا وقت اب ختم ہوا جاتا ہے اگلے لیکچر تک کے لیے اجازت دیجئے اللہ حافظ